Hello, role-playing game fans. My name is John Heyer, and I am an information topologist. In this video, I'll demonstrate a prototype for building D&D encounters within an automated Excel workbook. Here is a list of my current sourcing references for this task. My workbook contains character sheets, a monster manual table, various combat and weapon lookup tables, and finally a combat worksheet which pulls everything together. I am using Excel with VBA to run simple scripts for table lookups, dice roll generation, and dynamic on-the-fly pull-down menus for combat option selections. The topology for this workflow is as follows. Adventuring parties are matched to a single or group monster in the encounter build GUI. A combat sheet is then created and loaded with both party and monster attributes. Each row in the combat sheet represents an individual player or monster, blue for players, red for monsters. All attributes necessary for combat are read from the various tables and reported on the left-hand side of the combat sheet. On the right-hand side of the combat sheet is where initiative, combat choices, dice rolls, and results are recorded. All inputs can be entered by hand, but there is also a workflow GUI to assist in filling out this section. Let's run now through an example. We begin by opening the Build Encounter GUI tool from the Excel ribbon. This is the tool we will use to down-select an appropriate encounter for our players. The tool recognizes the character sheets in the workbook and sums the party's experience at the top of the GUI. In this case, there is a mixture of first to third level characters with a little over 4,000 experience points. We can browse monster stats by clicking on the monster list box section, which throws selected monster manual stats to a dyna dynamic window. Additionally, there are filters for name, maximum individual monster experience points, and a special filter that gives only monsters selected for use in the ongoing campaign. Let's make now our selection. A couple of bullywugs, a goblin, a magman, a shadow, and a skeleton. This list is beyond deadly for this party, but it is sufficient for our example. Proceed to checkout. The combat sheet is loaded and we can advance through the setup using our workflow GUI to guide us. First step, roll the dice for monster hit points according to the monster hit dice and add them in the hit points column. Alternatively, use the GUI to create these rolls. Roll for monster initiative and we get back the attack order among monsters. Roll for party initiative and now we have the complete party and monster attack order for the melee sequence. We can now set up foe and weapon selection choices for the party and monsters. Note weapon lists for the party are already available based on their character sheets. These three buttons create the pull-down selection menu in the appropriate combat matrix cells. Selections can now be made manually. However, for the purposes of quickly demonstrating the workflow, I have added scripts that make random selections for each list. Now we are ready to roll for hits and damage. Again, manual entries are allowed. We'll let the GUI roll for us, though. Rolls of 20 are automatic hits with double damage.